Where do you think you might light here? <laughs> right about there? Yeah. Hello. I have a question about indifference. 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 We don't care. <laughs> So I have a desire and I focus and I feel and I fine tune and I relax into it and I take the inspired action and it's good, it's good, it's good. And then there's a lull and I think that my well then, when you say you can take the inspired action, yes. there will be no lull unless you introduce resistance into the equation and slow it down. Momentum will continue to be. There will be no lull unless you, somewhere along this path that you've just described, begin introducing more resistance. It's only your own resistance that will slow it down. Because once you get a desire moving, it's going to come to full fruition and it will continue to gain momentum. It's only your lack of attention from it or the resistance about it that you're introducing that would ever produce a lull. It's law. Lull is resistance. Lull is the result of resistance. It's the result. Indifference to me seems to be access to relaxing into it again we would describe that differently this is the way we would describe this lull okay. i want it but yeah i want it but yeah. i would like to have this but these are the reasons that i don't and so a desire like that that never really gets any momentum going that really is a good way to describe indifference i want it but i want it but but if you want it and the reason you want it is and the feeling of that is and you want it and you talk about it and you want it so that there's some momentum going and then you say but now there's not indifference now there's I want it but now there's anger now there's strong frustration now there's even rage or resentment because when you get some momentum going about something that you want and you introduce some resistance to it it doesn't feel like indifference it feels like I'd like to punch somebody's lights out mm -hmm. it feels like somebody needs to call somebody and somebody needs to do something about this when you've got a strong desire that you contradict with your own thought in the moment that does not feel like indifference so once momentum is really going one of two things will happen either it will carry on to more and more and more and more and greater and greater and greater and greater satisfaction really eternal kind of satisfaction never-ending satisfaction always yielding gifts kind of satisfaction or it will peter out by your contradictory energy to it but a strong desire never dies easily you got to wrestle it to the ground and kill it and it's painful for you to do that and then you never really do the desire keeps moving on and calling you and you say ah oh, i left you behind leave me alone but it still continues to call that's not indifference that's not indifference not indifference when the desire is saying come here and I'm saying <laughs> well again if your desire and resistance stay equal I want it but I want it but I want it but I want it but then you never allow the momentum to get going and then it can be called indifference but if you just stop doing that thing you do mm. and you don't talk yourself out of it by arguing for your limitations mm. and you don't keep taking other people's ideas you let it gather the momentum that it naturally will and you let your inner being show you the fullness of it your inner being will call you and that is far far from indifference sometimes people that's you sometimes you are afraid to let yourself really want because you're afraid that if you really want it will really be uncomfortable 
so you hold your desire as best you can at bay but you're not holding it at bay what you're actually doing hear this we've never said it before it's your brilliant question that brings this forth you're not holding your desire at bay you're just keeping up with it with equal resistance cut it out so you're as good at arguing for why it won't work as you are for arguing about something that you want and after a while you just get tired of the what feels like a steady struggle and then you start again with something else and follow the same pattern how do I cut that pattern by understanding as you just did and by catching in the earlier stages in other words let's call the feeling of indifference a negative emotion okay let's not call it contentment it isn't is it let's call it negative emotion so then when you feel it just say to yourself wait a minute no wait a minute this is something that I want and these are the reasons that I want it and begin noting the positive aspects of what you want begin scripting a little bit to hold yourself in steadier vibrational alignment with your own desire by understanding there are many people who Esther met someone recently who felt it surprised her too because she thought he would have huge energy stream moving with him because of what she had thought she knew about him but instead of a huge energy stream what she found was indifference and she thought how can this be how can this be and then she thought about her own experience that there are some things that she does that same thing about everybody does it there are some things that the habit of thought is just so strong the habit of thought the cultural belief familiar belief is just so strong and so if the desire isn't really strong it's sometimes just easier to give in to give in to what everybody else thinks about it it's just easier if so it seems until you get the yucky taste of indifference in your mouth and then you say enough of that you see so start with easy things start with things that are easy start with things that you don't have strong opinions about and let the universe show you how quickly things move for you on those thoughts that are absence of contradictory flow and then after a while you'll just say well if I can do it with that I can do it with that and if I can do it with that I can do it with that if I can do it with that I can do it with that and watch the magnificent manifestations of your life because they are rich with evidence of your flow and there is so much of that yeah Enough? Enough. Oh. Really good. Yeah.